uh, national teamer, uh, Missy Franklin. Missy, you've been in six finals this meet, I believe. Yeah. How tired are you right now? Oh, well, pretty tired. Uh, nice, comfy bed. Sounds really nice right about now. Okay, let's talk about your two wins. You had one last night in the 100 backstroke, and that was, I think, the fastest time in the world this year. And um, I'm not sure what the uh, second swim was. I think it may be the second fastest time in the world this year. Um, talk about those races and, and how you did, how you felt. Um, I felt really good. I've definitely been training a lot more backstroke since the summer. And I've just really been trying to work on the small things and improve as much as I can. And I mean, tonight, my 200, that was my first time under 208. So I'm really happy with it. Um, as far, okay, as far as the 200 backstroke goes, you won that uh, pretty handily. Is it is it difficult to you know kind of keep driving when you're that far ahead of the rest of the field or or what do you what do you what do you do to keep yourself going? I mean, really, in every single one of my races, I just try and focus on my own lane, what I'm doing, my own stroke, and um, I just really try to push myself as hard as I can, and that's where moon I do best. Um, that was an incredibly fast tee, and this is an insanely fast. Just in general, it's there's so many incredible swimmers here, so it's an honor to be racing against all of them. All right, thanks so much. We're here with Olympian Dana Volmer. Dana, you just won your third uh, race of the meet. Um, just talk about how successful you've been over the past, you know, three days, and how happy you are with your uh, with your performance here. Yeah, I definitely swam way better than I expected to. Um, I've been in Australia training for the past two and a half weeks, and uh, really hitting a lot of hard dry land um, mixed with a lot of ocean swimming and a lot of technique work. And uh, I changed a lot of things about my stroke, and so I didn't know exactly how they would fit into a race. Sometimes it's hard for me to put new stuff in immediately, and uh, a lot of them worked really well, and I swam way faster than I thought I would, and a lot of things just clicked for me in my stroke. And, uh, you know, winning, winning three events is definitely was great and I'm excited with how fast I went. It gives me a lot of confidence for the things that I changed and uh, how I was training and uh, you know the last event always hurts a lot and uh, I tried to really just put my head down those last 15 meters and just charge for the wall no matter how bad it, my lungs may have hurt and uh, it definitely paid off. Okay, you talked about some of the changes you made to your stroke. What's one significant major change you made that you can talk, talk about? Um, I've been really trying to work on like my breathing fitting into my stroke and uh, I noticed from watching a lot of my race videos that uh, I tended to stop when I would breathe or, or you could just tell that it changed the rhythm and uh, really really trying to, to make it one movement and my breath kind of be hidden in my stroke and uh, I could really feel that in the 50 free even though it was the best time the one breath that I took I could just feel it kind of stop and so I'm working on it it's still there and uh, I feel like the smoother I can make that I mean obviously the less I stop the better all right, thanks so much. All right, so we're here with Olympian Chloe Sutton, who won her second event of the meet in the 800 free. Um, Chloe, that was the second race with you and Katie uh, Hoff and Kate Ziegler going head-to-head -head there. What's it like to come out on top in both races against such quality competition? It really boosted my confidence um, for you know, this summer and everything that's going to happen for me to be able to you know, compete with these girls and swim the times that I swam. I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. So. Okay, well, as far as tonight's race goes, it was kind of similar to last night. Um, you just had a really good kick in the last 50. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, going into it, I wanted to swim a 200 easy, build the middle 400, and then do whatever I needed to do to win in the last 200. And I split it exactly how Coach Rose would have wanted me to. Um, he was really happy with it. I went out in a 417, back in a 412. So a huge thing to split. And then I came home in a double O. So I really wanted to show my back half and my finishing legs. And I knew it was going to come down to the last 50. And I'm really excited that I was able to do that. But you really hammered that last 50. Where does that come from? The training that I do. We Everybody knows Dish and Viejo for the distance that we do. And, you know, we're expected them fast even though we're doing upwards of you know nine ten thousand in practice so um, you know my training is definitely starting to pay off and I just need to keep working hard and um, I'm really getting excited for this summer. Alright thanks so much. Uh, those those are probably the hardest the hardest triple I've ever done in my life. Um, I mean my legs are still kind of shaking from it. So. But I mean overall like swimming those three events back to back on uh, the matter of time that I did, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the times that I posted, so I mean, I'll take it.
How, how are you able to dig down for that win in the backstroke after swimming that I am? I don't even know. Um, I don't even know how that happened. Uh, I mean, I was out in lane eight, so I guess that was good because uh, none, none of the other uh, swimmers kind of like saw me when I was out there, and I, I mean, I just kind of went for it, and uh, I didn't hold anything back. So I mean, that was kind of like my plan going into the race. Oh yeah, I mean that was my best in season time. I mean not shade, not no suit. So I mean I'm really pleased with the time I went. I went. I, mean, I hate to lose, but um, right now I mean I'll take it. Uh, there's definitely a couple more months left of training to get ready for. Uh, Michael, uh, Michael's going to catch. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Michael's going to catch. I guess. So, uh, definitely be fun. Yeah. Do you feel like he's all the way back, Michael? Can you tell? Oh yeah, he's back. Um, there's no doubt about it. I mean, I honestly think he was never not there. Um, he's always there, no matter what he says. I always feel like he's always there. Like at any given time, like he can step up and race. And I mean, that goes for anyone, especially in the um, competition that we have now. Uh, in that high level, I mean, anyone can just step up and race. So. Really come into this meet, it's pretty much been all freestyle and fly. Um, you know, I think uh, I think the the bookends of my IM were were good, and I think the middle were kind of shaky. You know, I think my back and breast are um, two strokes that I I think really need a lot of improvement. Uh, but you know, I think as a whole, everything's been good. I mean, my freestyle is finally coming back. My fly is feeling better. And like I said earlier in the meet, try and do some uh, some more fly training over the next couple months, and, and hopefully it gets some faster. Yeah, your finishes in the freestyle have been uh, pretty good. So you feel you got some good legs going there? Or? I felt awesome uh, coming home the last 50. Really coming off the wall, I felt incredible. Um, first 50 didn't feel that great, uh, but then being able to get in and out of the wall. Uh, Fairly quick, um, and 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 being able to hit a good underwater off that off the wall, um, I felt really was able to. I was really able to build a lot of momentum and speed coming off that wall. And after that, I just felt, I felt good. I felt really good in the second 50. Um, There's still, I mean, like I said, I'm never really fully satisfied. Um, you know, I was, I was really happy after this meet being able to put up five fastest times in the world, but. You know, also at the same point, I think there's still a lot that I can improve on, and uh, you know, this is something to get something to get me a little excited. I think um, feels good to actually swim fast again. So you said you got a lot to improve on. What specifically do you think you can uh, improve on? My breaststroke's horrendous. Uh, my backstroke's not really good. Um, I mean, like I said, really, the, the only two things that are really working for me right now are flying free. Uh, I'm underwater, and, and, and my kick is starting to feel a lot better, and I feel like I'm starting to get that back a lot. Um, but other than that, it's it's, it's really it. Uh, my strokes feel okay. It takes up, I mean, like I said, the back and breast are absolutely terrible. And there's there, there's a lot of work to be done in that IM. And, uh, you know, I, I knew that right after I got out that, that, that there's a lot I can improve on, and, and uh, you know, we've sometime but not a whole lot. Well, what kind what of do you feel like yeah. just more and more and more I am training. Uh, I mean that's the biggest thing. I mean like, like I said the, the the real things that we've been focusing on a lot have been flying free and it shows. Um, you know we're, we're we're trying to put a base in and, and you know we're able to build the volume up a little bit over the last couple of weeks but now I think it's time to start getting more strokes and stroke specific and, and, and putting more time into the metal part of the I am what do you feel you were able to prove or show at this week? Anything? I mean, in my eyes, it, it, it just feels good to be able to race again. And it feels good to be act, able to actually race at a good speed. You know, in, in Austin, I after that weekend, I felt like, a, like a, it was just a joke. You know, I, I literally didn't feel like I got one good thing out of Austin. Besides swimming slow and and, you know, realizing that I'm, I was out of shape. That's about the only thing I got out of Austin. And uh, it's pretty frustrating. But, you know, I mean, being able to slingshot off of that and, 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 and come into this meet, um, you know, shows how fast things can change. And, 
You know, this is probably been my, my best month of real consistent solid training, you know, last year, year and a half. Last year? I'm sure there are going to be some other better races in the future. Um, you know, I mean, I, obviously, who, whoever's most prepared at that time is going to win the race. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, I've been able to have the privilege to race a lot of great people out there. And, and I know every time I get in the water and race him, we're, we're going to leave it all in the pool. And we're, we're both going to push each other as hard as we can and whoever wins wins. Thanks, guys. Thanks.